be multiplying one digit whole numbers in multiples of five, ten, not five, but ten. Um, maths.3.mbt.1.3. Let's cut to the chase. Let me teach ya. For this benchmark, we are multiplying multiples of ten. So I like to call this the multiplying magic zeros standard. So let's get to it. All right. This one, it could have word problems or it could not. So this first one is a word problem, an equation editor response. Diana is training for a half marathon. She plans to run 40 miles each week for the next six weeks. How many miles will she run after? Will she have run, have ran? I don't know. I'm trying to say that how many miles will she have completed after the six weeks are done? <laughs> um, so she's running 40 miles. She's running six weeks. That's your group with 40 miles each week. So here's our magic zeros. We do six times four equals 24. And then we have one zero. So we put our zero down there. So 240 miles. Kathy, a construction worker, earns $30 an hour. Go, Kathy. If she works nine hours a day, how much money does she earn for a day's work? So in one day, how much does she earn? So she's working for nine hours. That's our group. And she's earning $30 each hour. So here we go with our magic zero math. Nine times three is 27 with one zero, 270 dollars. Earns, I should have put a dollar sign there. Example three. A toy store is having a sale. The store is selling educational tablets for only $30. Margaret purchases one tablet for each of her grandchildren. If Margaret has four grandchildren, how much money did she spend on educational tablets? So she bought one for each kid. She has four kids. She buys one for each, so that's $30 for this one, $30 for this one, $30 for this one, $30 for this one. So we have four kids, and each she's spending $30 on. So four times three is 12, and add the zero is $120, and Margaret gets the Grandma of the Year Award. So yeah, let me just take a second too that if you are not very quick with your multiplication tables yet, check out this video, this link that I'm posting right here right now. Um, watch that video like three times a day until you know them. I promise if you learn the song, you'll be much faster at your multiplication tables. Thanks. Or go to multiplication.com. Shout out there. They've got some games there for you. Okay. I was about to be raised, but I'm still taping. So let's stop the video. Okay. Example number four. Match each expression. Remember, an expression does not have an equal sign to the correct product. So I'm matching by putting a little checkeroo and the one, excuse me, all right, so we've got 8 times 80, I'm sorry, times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Add 0, 320. Ba boom 7 times 30. We've got 7 times 3, which is 21. Add the 0, and we have 210. 60 times 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. 360 and 4 times 90. 4's go a little something like this 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. Ooh, another 36 there. And add that zero. So 2 in the 360 column. 
<sighs> this is the last one. I'm getting a little tired. Just kidding. I'm never tired of math. Math energizes me, and it should energize you, too. All right, number five. Select all of the expression. Expression means not equal sign that have a product of 240. Seven times 40. Seven times four. Seven, 14, 21, 28. Add the zero. That is not 240. 40 times six. Oop. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Magic zero. Yes, I almost marked that wrong. That is correct. 3 times 80. Should I do my threes or do my eights? I'll do my threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Add the zero in, that's an answer. Four times six, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Twenty-four is right, but I don't have any magic zero, so this one is not right. And thirty times nine. Nine's are full of cry, my friend. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. And we have magic zeros, but it's not 240. So B, C are your answers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Our inspirational quote today comes from the one and only Justin Bieber. You may like him. You may not. Either way, he is somebody who is living out his dreams. He has made mistakes in the past, and he is trying to come back from them and be a good person. Um... I actually have a joke for this one because I have two mentees out there that um, named Dwan and Elijah. Dwan can't stand Justin Bieber. Elijah thinks he's all right. Um, and we always make a joke singing the song, never say never. So yes, there will be times when people tell you that you can't live your dreams and this is what I tell them. Never say never.